board. Excellent. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us this morning. Uh, I feel a little bit out of practice because I haven't done these for a while. Likewise. Um, <laughs> um, so obviously we're recording the session. So if you want to share it with any of your colleagues, you would be most welcome to. And um, please use the chat box for any questions that you have. And um, I think you can see a couple of people have done it already. But if you just do it to everyone, then everyone can see your question. And um, we'd love it if it's a really interactive session. Um, more questions, the better, as far as um, Richard and I are concerned. And we are going to be talking about uh, tribute themes this morning. But if you have got any other questions, then please feel free to kind of use us. We're, we're here and we're very happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, so there is quite a variety of, uh, of people in the audience today, people from um, independent companies. I think we've probably got a couple of the uh, regional co-ops and maybe even some staff from the co-op joining us this morning. So um, welcome everybody. Some of you may have a bespoke company theme that you use as a default theme, um, but hopefully you've all had a chance to have a look at some of the personalised themes that we offer. <clears throat> and Richard and I are going to sort of delve into that a little bit more this morning. Now we have got I think it's about 250 different themes. So there's a really fantastic selection out there. Um, and we just wanted to show you some of the variety on offer. And also then Del Richard's gonna delve into a little bit more of the detail of how you can, if, if the one that you want or the one that you think your family might like isn't quite there, how you can kind of change it to make it a, a little bit more personalized without um, having a new uh, theme. So we will update the themes kind of periodically, maybe sort of three or four times um, a year. Um, so I've got a couple of pages open just to sort of show you some of the variety. Um, so this one I've got open at the moment is a, is a classic car theme. Um, so you can see the nice red shiny car in the bottom left hand corner. And depending on what theme you choose, that will sort of change the color of, of the wording as well to match. Um, let's see what else I've got open. So um, this one is something I like doing, although you don't get to do it very often these days, but um, this is a sailing theme. So you can see here that you've got the picture in the bottom left hand corner, but because we don't have an image loaded on this tribute, it's picked up just an image from the theme. So there'll always be some imagery on the tribute so it doesn't look um, empty. Um, this one has got obviously this chat like to relax with a nice glass of wine um, and um, so we've chosen an appropriate theme to match um, his uh, pastimes. Um, there's all, I mean I'm just trying to show you some of the variety, so chocolates, I think there's lots of gardening, um, there's a, a whole host of themes and Richard will show you some of that selection in a moment. And then the last one is um, a football theme, obviously very popular um, and we're not able to have every single football club listed and all the colours, partly due because there's so many of them, I don't think we could kind of host that many, um, but also there are um, kind of rights issues uh, amongst us having particular football clubs or rugby clubs or that kind of thing. So Richard's going to show you how you can sort of personalise that as if they are a particular, a fan of a particular club. Um, then you can still kind of um, highlight that through through the tribute page. So I'm going to hand you over to Richard now, who's going to um, show you some more what else you can do with the personalization. Well, um, thanks very much, Sally. OK, this is where we seamlessly hopefully move from one to another. Um, so I'm just going to um, move you to the side there so hopefully sally just confirm you're seeing um oops no, i'm still seeing oh yeah there we go you've, you've taken over now okay so uh you're seeing you're, you're in my uh in the in the partner area yeah okay so um i'm gonna make the assumption everyone um that you can log in and and get this far this screen will look very familiar um to yourselves it's the same for all our organizations um, this is our little sandbox area, a pupil director, um, where we create um, sort, of, uh, sort of trials of much love, but the rest of it should all look very, very familiar to yourselves. 
Um, so without much further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, create a dummy tribute. Um, and all these steps should be fairly uh, familiar to you. I'm actually gonna take, uh, create one to um, Dave uh, Britton. There he is. Um, and I'm also going to, I'm just going to put the, the date, of the, uh, date of his death in there. Um, and I'm going to um, show you one of the workarounds that can be used if a particular theme isn't available. Um, I'm going to make a, a, an assumption um, that this gentleman was a football fan, um, and he uh, was a, um, in, in our case, a uh, Manchester City fan. So here I am. I'm in my list of um, funeral direct in my my directory here. I've got my current funerals, um, and the family have sent me an image of uh, the Manchester City logo. Now I could have done a, a quick Google search um, and, and uploaded that, um, but I'm just going to use that. And you can either uh, uh, these days now just drop uh, drop and drag it, or you can select the picture. Okay. So uh, there's me adding uh, the theme there. Obviously, the words of tribute can be altered and changed if need be. Um, just going to very, very quickly select, um, give it a, a quick funeral just to complete the page. Uh, we'll just put some donations too much blood. Add a charity. As you all know, you can add as many charities as you wish. You can search by name or charity number. And if it's not in our list, uh, you can always um, uh, add, add, add the details yourself and we'll ask for some due diligence, add that in for you. Um, you're probably all aware that you can add the donations contact here. Again, I'll skip through this little part. Um, it isn't required now. Um, you can make them obviously the, tri the tribute owner at this stage also. We'll just skip the um, this section here because this is the area uh, that we really want to talk about this morning. Um, now, for our, our colleagues that have got default themes, you'll come here and there'll be a particular theme showing. And you may not realise that you can choose um, any any theme you wish. Um, if you click the browse themes button, uh, as Sally uh, mentioned, we've got about two hundred and fifty um, different themes uh, available. Um, do please explore these at your leisure. Um, you know, we could be here for quite a while if we go through um, to every single one. As Sally said as well, uh, the pages will sort of take on the, uh, the, the wording on the page will take on the colour of the theme. Um, in our case, we're looking for um, a, a sport. We were actually looking for a football theme. Um, we've got a few different types of football themes. We've got sort of Sunday league football um, to show you some of the other sports available. But um, in our case, we'll, we'll maybe choose this corner, uh, this corner page here. Now, you're never committed to this theme, so you can always, you know, don't think anything you're doing is cast in stone, you can always alter and change these, and we will show you how to do that um, at, at the end. Yeah, and also the families can change them as well. So once you've handed these pages over to the families and they, you know, would like to choose something else, then they can do that as well. So we'll show you, show you how to do that. So we just complete the tribute. Um, there's the final section there. And we'll go ahead and complete it and close these tabs down. Um, so save and continue. I'll be reverted back to my uh, my listing in just a moment. There we go. And there's David's page um, at, at the top of the listing there. We'll have a quick look at the page and see what I've just created there. So there we are. Um, so David was a Manchester City fan. So this is a sort of one of the workarounds. It would be impossible for us really to have a manageable list that would have all the, um, the football teams, the rugby teams and uh, and everything everything else in there. So this would be um, a potential um, potential workaround. Um, but what I'm going to do now, um, all this wording, by the way, is all manageable and, and um, it's all um, configurable as well. So I'm actually going to go and show you, uh, I will keep jumping back to this page here um, and just showing you some of the changes that I'm making, how to make some of, um, how to make some of these changes. So I'm just going to go back to the partner area. And all the changes that can be made to uh, attribute can be made in the settings area. 
of, um, of the tribute. So if I click in settings, I've got access now to everything that I've done on the page. So if you want to, we can change the, the title and we can change this to maybe um, Loving David Britton. And that will then, I'm just going to F5 my page and you'll see there that the title um, has been altered. Um, I can, if you've got a multiple, if you work in an organization with multiple branches, uh, you have the ability to change branch from one to another if you're doing the work for somebody else. You can also change uh, any aspect of the funeral notice, you can change the dates and the times. Um, but here we're concentrating actually on, on the theme. So we'll pop, we'll scroll down to the tribute info section. And if you want to change the theme, I think we chose uh, the corner flag, uh, sorry, the corner there. Um, so let's go into the theme, um, the theme section, and you might not like the, the way that, that looks. So let's go and uh, we'll stay on the sports uh, section. Where are we? Sports. And we'll select um, a different one. There's the one that I did uh, choose, but we'll change this one now to, um, to pitch. And you'll see um, that the whole theme uh, changes, including the coloration um, of, of the wording. But it doesn't stop there. Um, you can actually change any aspect of the page. So um, if we don't like, for example, the colors of the sides, we can change that. Now, we wouldn't expect you to do this. Feel free if you've if you're sort of um, got an artistic bent and you want to have a bit of a play and you've got some time, um, but I'll show you how to do that. Uh, otherwise, it is all down to um, the family uh, to change these things or, or us at Much Loved if they want some help. Um, just going to go back to uh, the settings just so it all looks familiar. So here we are, uh, changing the settings. Now, the deep dive I'm going to show you, uh, some of you may have already uh, been here, but right at the very bottom, We've got this section here, the advanced settings. Um, if we open up the advanced settings, you're then given access to a whole host uh, of alternative information. And you'll see here, uh, I'm actually uh, currently on the homepage settings. Um, you can see that up there. Um, and this is where I altered the, um, I changed on, on the, um, the settings section, the, the remembering to loving. But I can change that um, uh, again. So let's just change it here to something else. Just say that, and you'll see then that that instantly changes it um, on the page. Um, but as we get as we scroll through um, the different menus, if you have a look at the design, this is where you can sort of really start to tinker around um, with with the page. Um, you can change the. Uh, we're also still um, on this particular football theme, but again, we can alter it. We can change that here. We can change it to the Sunday League section. We could also change the font if we wanted to. We've only got a couple of fonts, um, smaller and larger. Um, and the, the area here, we call them the wings. Um, this is where you can change the, the, the wings if you wish. So uh, we change it to tiles. We could alter it to bamboo. And if we want to, we can change the colour. They also have a suggested one, don't they? So if you've switched the designs around, the wings will stay as the original design. So uh, I think you'll click on edit. Yeah. And then if I click on suggested, it will put it back. I think the um, it was a dark green at the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've changed the thing there. And if we go to, uh, to David's page again, instantly we'll see that that has, that has altered and changed. Um, you can also manage all the content. Um, I pointed out that there's a couple of default thoughts that are always added to the pages um, uh, here. Um, but if you wanted to, they can also be changed. So in the settings, uh, if you go to the content, um, and this is you can look at any part of the tribute here and what's been added and what hasn't. Um, here we're looking to change or manage a thought. So we'll come down to the thought section. And here are, there's the two thoughts that are displayed. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to uh, remove the thought. Again, just go back to the, the, the tribute, and you'll see that it has instantly been removed. So any content that we have to get asked, can any content be removed? Yes, absolutely it can. Um, that, and it's all managed from this section here. Um, if, um, sorry, Rich, I was going to say, if you want your thoughts changed, um, so we, we add a couple of standard thoughts on to all of the tributes so that they have some content on them when they've been created. But as a company, if you'd prefer to have a different thought across all of your tributes, then just uh, let your account manager know and we can update that for you. 
we'll, we'll need to know what you want, but we can update that for you. Or they can be removed if you don't want them. Yeah. Um, if you want to, you can actually exclude certain sections um, of a tribute. So um, it's going to go uh, back to the tribute page. Sorry for jumping around so much, but um, here I can contribute to um, the, the the page in all its uh, with all the functionality that we've got. So obviously making a donation all the way through to adding music. Um, but if I want to, if I come to the um, the contribute uh, contribution settings. I can remove the ability to add any part or for the people to upload those stories. So let's say um, I don't want people to be able to upload music or videos. And I can save that change and we go to back to the page and we can see uh, that that functionality has instantly been removed. Excellent. So can I, I'm just going to say if anyone has got any questions or anything in particular that they would like to talk us through just or ask whilst we're here, then please do pop it in the chat box. Um, I think Richard's going to talk us through um, and show you the support area that we've got as well. So this is a good opportunity to pop your questions in because we're sort of nearing the, the end of the session. Okay, so yeah, so we'll come back to um, the your main partner area section. So I'm just going to put it back to where we're probably all familiar with. There's the, there's the listings. Now, uh, all of you have access to, uh, well, the first thing I'm going to point out actually is I want to make you all aware that you have the ability to download a QR code for each funeral. Um, if you've got a, your mobile phones handy, I always say this one, um, you know, hold your, your phone up to, uh, to that on the camera uh, with the camera function. Um, and you'll see that you'll be taken directly to the tribute. So this is an ideal um, thing to add to the uh, to the order of service. You can download it obviously um, and, and send it off to your printers. Um, and I'll probably cut you all short now whilst you're reaching for your phones. Um, but the next um, last thing I'm going to show you is access to our training and support site. So all of you have access um, to our training and support site, and it is the same for everyone. Um, and here. Uh, you can um, sort of, we've got loads of different sections. I'm just going to jump into uh, a couple of them. Please feel free to explore this. You know, you can't, uh, you can't do any harm in, in having a bit of a play. Um, I'm just going to click in the get started section here. Uh, if you are uh, new to the site uh, and, or you've got colleagues that want to get going on it, you can always uh, use our e-learning to get going. Alternatively, so you can always speak to uh, one of us. But we've got an e-learning module. Um, I've also got access to our webinars um, that we've created in, in the past. Um, we've also got a FAQ section. So you just go back, oops, go back to the FAQ section. We often get the uh, same questions come up and down. Um, and here we go. This is the, all, all the answers to uh, all the questions that, that we often get, um, get asked about donations. And a very popular one, uh, and I will show you this. This is uh, how to app, uh, how to upload uh, a, a, an order of service. So, you know, Sally's right. We are um, getting slightly pinched for time, but most answers can be found here. If they can't be found here. Drop us an email. Um, get in touch with the the support team. We can we can show you what they will look like. So we've got they all our photos recently. Um, yeah, if you if you've got any questions and queries get in touch and we can resolve um, your, your queries uh, as, as soon as possible. There's also a search bar right at the top of that um, page. So if, you, if you, you're going and you can't sort of, uh, or don't want to kind of delve into it too much, just use the search criteria. It's, it, it, it's pretty good. So, um, or, you know, you're very welcome to get in touch with us and ask us. And yeah, if you yeah, we've got we've got to get in going, uh, getting started, and we've we've got to doing more. Uh, if you want to know how to add all your commonly um, used funeral locations, for example, um, and it's all there, how to share via social media, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so I will stop there. I think. Yep, excellent. Thank you very much, Richard. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. Um, next month's session, I should know what it is, but I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, but we will be running another one in March and you'll receive lots of emails about that. So please do join us there um, and um, yeah, have a fantastic day. I hope, yeah, have a good, good rest of the week. Thanks very much.